10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... Welcome to the 198th episode of the Magnolia Clubhouse Weekly Report. I am Patrick. And I'm Edna. Welcome back to our group that went to Fountain House. Hopefully it was a great learning experience. We're glad to have you back. Now let's get started with this week's news as there is a lot to cover. Let's see what our topic story is. Hello everyone, I'm Matthew and I'm here with some guests from the very first clubhouse in the world, Fountain House from New York City. So everyone, please introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Andrew. Hi, I'm Nia. Hi, I'm Audrey. I'm Natalie. Great to have you here, guys. So, what brings you to the clubhouse, Magnolia Clubhouse, rather, here in Ohio? I, I accepted the offer for the clubhouse exchange program. Mm -hmm. because I wanted to get out of the city and touch grass a little more. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> All right, so, Nia, is there anything that you saw at my other clubhouse that you would like to take back with you to Fountain House? Yes, um, one thing in particular that I noticed at Magnolia mm -hmm. is they have the education and employment dinner. I think it's a really nice way to sit down and discuss your goals or any experiences you had on a TE while having a great meal. Sounds good. And it's good to know that we can influence our founding clubhouse in the world. All right. Natalie, have you saw anything here at Magnolia that was similar to Fountain House back where you're from? Yeah, I mean, I think the whole energy of the clubhouse feels really comparable to Fountain House. And that's one thing that I've been struck by this the whole time since we've been here is that even though it's a smaller clubhouse, it's, it feels like maybe a little tighter knit at times. But oh, wow. It feels the same energy, the same interactions between staff and member, member and member. Like, it feels very, very similar. And so I felt right at home here. And it's really interesting to see a community on a smaller scale. Ah, glad to know that we've made you feel at home in more ways than one. <laughs> and so, Audrey. Being part of this partnership exchange, what would you recommend about this program to the other clubhouse? Well, I personally would recommend the communications unit, mm -hmm. uh, but I definitely would recommend doing this. It's been a great experience. Um, Magnolia is awesome. And I want to thank everybody. All right. Well, thank you guys for your time. It's been great having you here. All right, everyone, I'm Matthew. That was it for our guests from Fountain House. Now back to more Maine Magnolia News. Great report. Keep up the good work. Don't forget, we are working with Major Justin Bibb to get new TEs with the city of Cleveland. Please visit the membership unit or let your staff know if you are interested in working. Hi, Clubhouse. I'm Jeremiah. And I'm Anthony. We wanted to discuss some proposed changes to our tour process. These changes are part of our action plan we developed while in London at the Mosaic Clubhouse. Our objective is to add proper training sessions to our clubhouse tour givers. These will benefit our tours by resulting in shorter, more consistent tours. We believe this will help prospective members feel less overwhelmed while seeing the clubhouse for the very first time. The membership unit is offering training sessions on Mondays and Fridays after the unit meetings. So if you are interested, make sure you attend. We will welcome anyone to join. We can't wait to see you guys there. Now back to more Magnolia Clubhouse news. Switching gears, let's find out about our Friday fun day activity this week. Hi, I'm Maddie Caddy. And I'm MJ. And we're here to let you know about the Friday Fun Day thing. Oh yeah, Maddie, it's gonna be a thriller. What's it gonna be, MJ? Curiosity is only human nature. This week, it is going to be animal trivia. Oh, I suppose we'll be, want to be starting something. Oh yeah, Maddie, it's official. Competition is going to be tough. So take my strong advice. Just remember to always think twice. 
Yeah, they can beat it. Oh. Quiz questions will be displayed on Clubhouse monitors. That's right, calling all PYTs from every unit to guess throughout the work order day. Points will be given for correctly answered questions. I swear the girl is mine. I mean the golden pineapple. The unit that gets the most correct answers and survives the stampede of creature quiz will be given the golden pineapple award. Okay, everyone, this is it. I'm MJ. And I'm Matthew. And it's gonna be a thriller. And now back to more Magnet Magnolia News. This should be a fun and challenging competition. Hopefully we know our animals. Let's find out from the hospitality unit what's for lunch this week. Hi, I'm Justina and I'm bringing you this week's menu. Monday, hospitality will be serving baked chicken, ka, preza, pal, pasta salad. Yum. Tuesday, we will be having quinoa power bowl with a veggie option if you don't eat meat. Wednesday, we're having Waga, we are going to have some delicious jerk chicken with rice and beans. Yum. Thursday, we are in for a treat. We are having our famous Sloppy Joe's with chips on the side. Last but not least, Friday, we will have a chicken Greek salad. That's all, folks. Thanks, hospitality. Bye. Another week of delicious meals. Thanks, hospitality. We all like to have fun. Let's take a look at the weekly social events. Hey guys, what's up? Man, I sure am bored. Yeah, me too. Bored? I have an idea. What is it? <laughs> Craft night. When and where? Oh, that's right. At the clubhouse, of course. Um, June 10th from 4.30 to 6.30. How can I forget? Who's all going to be there? Nikki and Jordan. Please sign up and schedule your rides. Let's, Let's get, get party! <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Nia and I would like to invite everyone to the Ice Cream Social on June 12th with Angel and Aaron from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. We'll be going to Mitchell's Ice Cream. The first scoop will be covered by Magnolia. If you want anything outside of that, you're more than welcome, but staff is asking that you bring additional funds. Please schedule your rides and remember to sign up for the social. That's all for the Ice Cream Social. My name is Nia, and now back to more news. I'm gonna beat you, Jen. I don't think so, Joe. I'm the best badminton player in town. Well, we'll just find on Saturday from 10 to 2, won't we? I guess so. I'm also going to beat you at Frisbee. And I can beat you at Clawhole any time of the day. I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out on Saturday. Yes, we will, won't we? From 10 to 2. That's right, from 10 to 2. It's on. It's on. All right, craft night and ice cream. Sounds like a great week of activities. Make sure you sign up and schedule your rides. It's now time for our weekly weather report. I'm Joe, and this is your weather report. This week's weather will range from upper 60s to upper 80s. With the mix of sun and don't get to umbrellas because they're going to be rain, Make sure you dress prepared and dress properly. I am Joe, and this is your weather report. Now back to more news. Sounds like good summer temperatures. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot. Dress lightly and stay hydrated, everyone. Let's find out what is our quote of this week. Hey Clubhouse, I am Alyssa with the quote of the week. Pick, pick up the battle and make it a better world just where you are by Maya Angelou. That's all for me. Now back to more news. Thanks for sharing these uplifting and inspiring words. Time for this week's birthdays. Hi, my name is Robin and here are the birthdays for this week. Dexter, Don C, Stefan, Anita, Jamie, Nisa and Theodore. That's all for the birthdays now and back to more news. 
Happy birthday to everyone. This month for our health topic, the clubhouse is focused on safe sex and HIV and ST, STI. Hey, hey clubhouse. clubhouse. I'm Jerome. And I am Audrey. I am visiting from Fountain House in New York. We are here with our weekly healthy wellness report for the month of June. Clubhouse is covering safe sex practices and topics. Today, we wanted to discuss wellness tips on how diet can help someone manage HIV. First, Jerome, let's go over how HIV affects your body. Of course, Audrey. When a person becomes infected with HIV, it attacks the person's immune system. The immune system has many kinds of white blood cells to fight infections. Once a person is infected with HIV, HIV kills the healthy white blood cells and body created healthy blood cells are body created and creates with new healthy, unhealthy HIV copies of those. Of course, Audrey, when a person becomes infected with HIV, it attacks the person's immune system. The immune system has many kinds of white blood cells to fight infections. Once a person is infected with HIV, HIV kills unhealthy white blood cells in your body created and creates new unhealthy HIV copies of those cells. Jerome, the immune system does try to control HIV by making white blood cells, but when the immune system cannot make their own white blood cells fast enough, the infection spreads in your body. A weak immune system has a hard time fighting. Sorry, what can someone do to help their immune system fight the good, good fight? It's all in what you eat. The more a person incorporates fruits and vegetables in their diet and stays away from excess sugar, they will help their immune system. Also, someone can consider including things like pumpkin seeds for zinc, wheat flakes cereal for vitamin A, almonds, meats for vitamin D, Thai coconut soup for vitamin C, avocado for vitamin E with their diet as well. These tips are helpful for people with and without HIV. Incorporating these foods in your diet will help boost your immune system. Thank you for joining us at the clubhouse. We greatly enjoy having you. Thank you, Jerome. I have learned the Guardians are actually the more superior team. That's, That's all, all from, from us, us now. now. Back, Back to, to more, more news. news. Uh, let's see what this week's standard is. Hi Clubhouse, I'm Jeff and here is standard number 12 under space. The Clubhouse has its own identity, including its own name, mailing address, and telephone. That's the standard, now back to more news. Our 3 two, one guys have another update for all your sports fans. <clears throat> Great report, thank you. 3 two, one. All right, welcome to a special NBA Finals edition of Magnolia Clubhouse Sports, along with Scott Trollock and Keith Lakewood. Scott, the NBA Finals has now shifted to Dallas, and the, and the series has been very competitive of these, these two teams. What makes it so? Who do you think will win this series now that it's been shifted back to Dallas? Well, it is heating up, and um, I am going to say Mavericks and six, and it's. Uh, and why do you think that you predicted the Mavericks to win? Well, the I feel that they had a much harder road to get to the finals, and they uh, really uh, needed to really crawl their way in. And they, they, it was not easy. And I think that they are really going to make make a good dent in this series. However, I think that it, it's a question is it, it, regarding their bench because. I think uh, the Dallas bench is basically an up still, uphill struggle with Boston's bench being pretty much a very deep bench. And Boston has been prolific in their three-point shooting. They have been leading the league in shooting. And uh, Dallas needs to uh, counteract Boston's prolific three-point shooting in this series. And we cannot sleep on Boston just yet, to so say the least. That's, you know, that's exactly what I meant about Boston. You know, you can't sleep on them because uh, despite that, it is Boston's second appearance in the last three years, Scott. And, next, and a lot of expectations are for Boston to actually win this title or else their window may be closing if they do not win this uh, series. 
So it's going to be an intriguing series as, as we finish this, uh, let this series unfold as, it, as the series now shifts to Dallas. And that is it for this edition of Magnolia Clubhouse Sports. That is the final buzzer. I'm KIL. Scott, you're at the free throw line. Make them count. And as I always say, always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. We're done. That's all for this week. Thanks to all the contributors to the Weekly Report, the communications unit which produces this news program. We encourage you to come up and join us if you're interested in participating. Be sure to check out Magnolia Clubhouse's Facebook page, X, Instagram, TikTok, and our YouTube channel. If you enjoy what you've seen this week, then be sure to like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channels. And please share this video and page with others. MagnoliaClubhouse.org is our official website, and we maintain a presence on X, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook. I'm Patrick. I'm Edna. Goodbye. Bye. Living with mental illness, join the club.